Prince William visited New York City last week in honor of the Earthshot Prize Innovation Summit, during which he unveiled the 15 finalists in contention to receive the coveted award. Although the Princess of Wales isn't heading across the pond with her husband on this occasion, fans were excited to see the popular royale later this year, when Prince William hosts the Earthshot Awards in Singapore in November. The news that Princess Kate won't be attending. The Earthshot Awards was met with dismay from royal fans, who were upset to miss out on a chance to see the Princess of Wales in action. Royal fans hoped the news wasn't true. From what we have seen so far, it is basically confirmed, not officially by the palace, that Catherine will be there. Others fellow fans speculated on why Princess Kate's attendance hasn't been confirmed. Even another excitedly suggested, could there be a baby R4 on the way? Although fans loved the idea that a fourth little one could be on the way for the Wales family, they are done having children. However, royal watchers were left disappointed when reports yesterday revealed that the Princess of Wales doesn't plan to join her husband for the Singapore trip either. Now, Kensington Palace has confirmed her non-attendance with a royal source revealing why she will stay at home, and it's down to Prince George, fueling speculation future king will attend prestigious Eton School. George is currently in year six at Lambrook School in Berkshire, where his younger siblings, Princess Charlotte and Prince Louis, are also pupils. We understand that their eldest child, Prince George, is taking exams on the same week as the awards, and the princess wants to be at home to support him. She is also known to, like William, want her children to have as stable of a home life as possible, as well as preparing them for their royal futures. Well, we make sure Princess Catherine will revitalize one shoulder dresses, if appearing in one, for this stunning prize with regal color. Green. A long vin, ruffle detail, one shoulder gown is an excellent suggestion. A dramatic ruffle, tracing the one shoulder neckline and a daring thigh-high side, Slit enhance the enviable silhouette of a gorgeous green gown. This Lanvin style hugs and skims all the right curves for a truly flattering fit. However, one can tell that she has still maintained a sense of control over the endeavor by choosing to wear from one of her favorite fashion houses, Alexander McQueen, who also created her unforgettable wedding dress. She wears her hair down in effortless waves and her makeup is natural, as she likes it. At last year's first-ever Earthshot Prize ceremony, Catherine wore a lilac Alexander McQueen gown that had been in her wardrobe for a decade because the award encourages its guests to think about sustainability when choosing their outfits. So it was a bit of a surprise for the special night when Prince William and Kate arrived on the recycled green carpet of Boston's MGM Music Hall and the princess was wearing a never-before-seen bright green dress by Solace London. It turned out that the princess rented her dress from the UK platform Her, which has a mission to undo fashion's reputation as one of the most polluting industries. She paired the dress with a familiar pair of glittering pumps from Gianvito Rossi and a very special Windsor family heirloom, a cabochon emerald and diamond choker necklace that once belonged to Diana, Princess of Wales. The necklace was a gift from Queen Elizabeth II, upon Diana's 1981 marriage to King Charles III, and she made headlines by once wearing it as a choker. The decision to rent the dress was one of a few steps that the couple took to limit their carbon footprint on their trip to the United States, which also included taking a commercial British Airways flight to and from Logan Airport and driving hybrid Range Rovers around the city. Drovers.